I grew up like your average kid. And like most overprivileged kids, my life looked pretty sweet. I had a great family, amazing friends, and I loved to make them laugh. I'd say, every morning when I wake up and look in the mirror, it breaks. And they'd laugh because I guess to them it's kind of funny. To them it's just a story. But like all good stories, it had a seed of truth to it. Most days I did wake up and gaze in a mirror, but I'd never break it with a look. Instead, looking at the real person in the mirror would cause me to falter, to break. Because every day I had to look at a broken soul, with a broken heart from years of looking in a mirror and telling myself I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today, and I might as well never get out of bed again. To that end, I became one of two people in the world, a person who builds walls. Walls with bricks inscribed with words like smile, laugh, love, and painted bright colors that contrasted with the darkness that lies beyond. I couldn't have been the only person to grow up like this, thinking that I only stood as tall as a wall that surrounds a swamp of emotion, with a sign reading not fit for human consumption, placed there not because of being bullied into it, but because I was already calling myself by those names that would never hurt me. Life for people like us became a constant cycle of rebuilding a wall, only to have another storm come by and put a crack in it. And it's more than just a fault in the wall, but a fault in our ability to present a whole and functioning self to the world. And before too long, we've got nothing but a mangled wall, made of nothing more than cracks and holes, covered in smiles to make us feel better about ourselves. And eventually a storm comes by that's stronger than any wall that anyone could ever hope to build. And when that wall comes down, we'll drag ourselves down with it. Eventually though, no matter how bad the storm, it'll clear. And only then, standing in the wreckage of your past and your memories, can you see that even the stones used to build a wall could be more than a vanguard for a person long broken and hidden. I said there were two kinds of people in this world, those who build walls and those who build bridges. I want to say it's not hard, that tearing down a wall that's been the foundation of someone's life for so long would be easy, but it has to be worth trying. You built a wall out of troubled memories and painted bricks, justified getting out of bed every day because you told yourself you had to build a wall. Walls have always and only ever been a place for cowards to hide. Bridges? Bridges are how we get over things. Standing in the shadow of a wall you'll never change. Standing on a bridge you'll be on the path to something. New hope. New beginnings. A new you. Next time you look in a mirror, you can say nobody likes me and build another wall. Or you can start a bridge and say, I like me.